Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm once again diving into the world of Stable Diffusion. What's happening this time? Well, let's just have a quick look at a steampunk rodent. There, wasn't he fantastic? So yes, we're creating that sort of interpolated video. Here it is. Create videos with stable diffusion by exploring the latent space and morphing between text prompts and seeds. So as always, links down in the description. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. I'll be showing the collab first and then running it locally. So here's the collab. You can click on the open in collab link. That will take you over to the Google collab notebook. Very easy. You just Pretty much click runtime run all that will download all the stuff log in with your hugging face token that will download all the checkpoints and things which you can save to your google drive if you want to so you don't have to download them again once you've done it once and then it will pop open this little gradio interface so there as always you can type in your little prompt there pick whatever seed you want all the other settings click submit and then that will generate your little rodent for you, a photograph of a steampunk rodent, and that, that will take about 10 seconds. So we'll just wait a few seconds for him to appear. And there we have our lovely picture of a steampunk rodent. There he is. Isn't he cool? Now, obviously, that's quite small, so you can click on the little public URL link that will take you over to exactly the same interface, but in a new tab and it's much, much bigger. So you can do exactly the same thing. So there we are. So you've got your prompt there and you've got your seed and you go, yes, all right, that picture's perfect. So I've got that prompt seed 142 guidance scale that. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put that in there. And then I want maybe the exact same prompt and a different seed. And uh, I'm going to turn the guidance thing down a bit and uh, maybe I want to do a loop so you can click that. There's your output directory and you just click submit and there we go. That will loop between, sorry, <laughs> that will uh, interpolate between that prompt and that seed and that prompt and that seed. If you want to do, uh, you know, upsampling, you can click upsampling as well. Uh, the number of walk steps there is how many steps it takes between that prompt and that prompt. So you might want to do a low number to start with, perhaps five or ten. And uh, once you think it's really good, then you can pump the number of steps up quite high to make it really, really smooth. A little bit like my steampunk rodent video. So that's it. That's that's pretty simple. There's the uh, there's the Google Colab notebook. Now, of course, you can install and run this locally as well. It's just a single line pip install stable diffusion. So there we go. I've of course, already have my latent diffusion anaconda environment set up, but there we go. Pip install done, and then do your hugging face CLI login as well. And then you can copy pasta that. So I've copy pasta that. There it is. There's my steampunk rodent stuff, the steampunk rat in a cyberpunk outfit, and I'm interpolating between those three prompts. And it's got those three seeds, outputs it into there. So I've got that saved as nerdy rodent interpolate. So all I have to do is Python. Nerdy Rodent Interpolate, hit return, that will run off and do its thing. I, of course, have generated them already, as you've seen the video. And there it is in the video output, Rodent, got all the frames and the little video at the bottom as well. Excellent stuff. Hey, so there you go. Have absolutely loads of fun creating stable diffusion interpolated videos. That's Rodent out for now.